Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. And I have an important topic to talk about. We're going to talk about the truth about America's rarest blood cancer. I'm going to point it towards my home base, which is Texas. I broadcast um, all over the United States and abroad, but we're going to talk about Texas this morning. Let's get started. Give me some of the estimated new t- uh, cases, and then tell me about this blood cancer. So um, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is a cancer of the lymphatic system. Uh, which is your immune system. And you and I normally don't deal with the immune system because it's always working in the background. But it definitely gets bigger when there's either an infection or when there's cancer. So little lymph nodes that are present throughout your whole body get bigger when you have lymphoma within it. So a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is a lymphoma that starts within the lymphatic system. Now each state has um, a different um, incidence. So But about 20,000 patients a year will die from this disease every year. It is the sixth most common uh, type of breast cancer. And it's common, it's rare to the general public, but an an oncologist tends to treat these patients on a a fairly frequent basis. Is the lymphatic system something different from the, uh, when I hear people say they have, uh, yesterday I talked to uh, uh, a music icon, Tony Braxton, she has lupus and it affects our autoimmune system. Are those two different things? Very good, very good question. So it's actually, um, the so autoimmune disorders are not cancerous. So they're different okay. from cancers. Cancers means that the, that the tumor, the cells, have the two superpowers. One is the ability to grow uncontrollably, and the other ability to spread beyond. So autoimmune systems are basically your own immune system attacking your body, Whereas a, whereas a lymphoma is a cancer that grows within the lymph nodes. Okay, well, I need to know that September is Blood Cancer Awareness Month. Yeah. And Dr. Iman is here to give us some information. Dr. Iman, okay, so this cancer, um, it says in 2018, over 170,000 people in the U.S. were diagnosed, well, in 2018, mm-hmm. 170. Thousand people mm-hmm. are expected to be diagnosed with blood cancers every year. That's a startling number. It is, and that's why I think uh, oncologists everywhere um, uh, deal with this on a fairly regular basis. But uh, the good thing about this, so there is one bad thing and the one good thing. The bad thing about this kind of diagnosis is that it's not curable. But the good thing about this diagnosis is that there are lots of treatment options that are available. Usually we start with chemotherapy combined with immune therapy, but now we have lots of non-chemotherapeutic options uh, with, that are well tolerated that can put patients into remission, such as alacopa. So each patient, despite whatever, whenever he's diagnosed or she's diagnosed, should discuss with their physician what the right treatment is for them. How do you catch this early? So uh, you catch this early by essentially, you know, being just generally aware of your body. Um, there's no need to constantly obsess over every little bump, in, but having a general awareness, oh, that there's a lump here, or there's a lump underneath here, or I have this or that, any changes in your body should prompt a uh, visit to the physician, and then your physician can guide you, oh, look, this is something that we need to work up further, or no, don't worry about it. I love doctors, but what happens when you get misdiagnosed for another disease and it's not being treated? Uh, so that is a very, I mean, it's, it's a concern that we all have whenever we go to the doctor. But I think it's important to, one, be persistent, you know, and, and just to present to the physician that I have this symptom and I'd like to get it work up a little bit further. And so that tells the physician to sort of focus on it uh, a little bit more. But most patients, you know, we, we know that most patients will end up being diagnosed correctly in time with this follicular lymphoma diagnosis. And then we can base our treatments on it. 
Dr. Iman is an expert in treatment of lymphoma and leukemia, and today he's talking about rare cancer, the truth about America's rare cancer. Why do we have such high statistics of, with this disease in Texas, or is that not true? So, there, actually, there is no why. It is just happens. <laughs> this disease is, affects almost every, every state. It affects every race. Um, there's a slight propensity to have more women are diagnosed than men. But still, it's a diagnosis that happens. We are certain risk factors, we are clear, but most patients don't have any risk factors before they get diagnosed with it. Those risk factors that we normally talk about uh, with foot lymphoma are we call a um, an, uh, an Im suppressed immune system, a chronic where the immune system is decreased. That lends more increased risk of foot lymphoma. There are other things such as viruses, chronic viruses that can lead to an increase of lymphoma. But again, in general, most patients, most states, there's no clear um, cause for these follicular lymphomas. Dr. Iman, you brought something to our attention. I think that deserves to be on our scope of things that we need to know more about. Where can we go online and start to find more information? And Dr. Uh, Aman, I want to tell you, it's hard because we're lay people. And you go out there and read something, you automatically think you got it. Right. But, but where do we find out more information? <laughs> So there are two good websites. Uh, the uh, Leukemia Lymphoma uh, website, which is lls.org, and the other website uh, is called allbloodcancers.org, and it has some great information that's really at a layman's level. But I think the best resource, anytime you have concern, is to just visit your general physician, and she'll be able to guide you, or he'll be able to guide you to the right resources from there on. Dr. Aman, thank you so very much for talking about this, and thank you for helping us to know more the truth about America's rarest blood cancer. Right. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it.